Hi, I'm Mark Yates. I'm the Director of the Emerging Markets at the Research Partnership. I would say the main issue with conducting research in emerging markets is how to guarantee the quality of the research in line with what you would expect from the EU and the US. The implication for pharma is the importance of emerging markets is suddenly growing and therefore there's a greater need for quality data, quality insights to go into their forecasts. First of all, you have to make sure the moderator understands the disease area. It's not enough just to understand the questionnaire. They need to be familiar with the terms, with the drug names, both the branded and the generic names. They need to understand the different levels or severities of the condition, the different treatment options, so that when they're talking to the doctor, they can really probe, they can pick up on cues, they can really have a two-way conversation. To guarantee quality, we need to build in more time, so time at the briefing, as I explained, but also time to review the first interviews. So if possible, we say to clients, you should watch the first three to five interviews live. Following that, I would say we want to review the first interviews um, as a team with the market researcher and the brand manager to make sure that we are getting the depth of information that you require. Really pay close attention to your inclusion criteria. What doctors do you want to interview? What specialties? Which cities? Which hospital levels? Public, private sector, for example. Go to your local affiliate. Ask them their advice to make sure that we are asking the right questions to the right people. The other suggestion I would make is make sure you use a market-specific or a market-appropriate methodology. For example, telephone research doesn't work that well in Asia-Pacific. Um, the other point would be online panels are good in EU and US, but they're less good in emerging markets. The other point I would make is that we have to understand the local guidelines. So I'll give you a quick example. In Korea, the physician incentives are limited to 100,000 Korean won, around 90 US dollars, and this might impact the different methodologies that you might use. So emerging markets are becoming much more important to the pharmaceutical industry and they're, they're relatively new to some market researchers but they're not new to us. Over the last 16 years we've been conducting more and more studies in an emerging market. In the last year alone of the 180 studies that we conducted at the research partnership more than a third of them contained at least one emerging market.